all right, so there's a little bit of a divide amongst Jets fans, and I'm trying to bring us together in this one. I don't think we disagree as much as we think we do. I really don't. I think it's just a social media problem. If we'd all get together in a bar, I think we'd see eye to eye, and I think I'm going to try to lay that all out here in this one. If you appreciate that, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it. So there's two thoughts going on, right? There's Jet Fan A, who says, look, we've been bad for five or six years. We're four and two. Divisional losing streak snapped. Three wins in a row. Just went into Lambeau and beat them and snapped all kinds of winning streaks that they had coming off a loss in their building. Four and two. And playoffs is not a hot or a crazy take with this football team anymore. We should be nothing but happy. Zach is 3-0 since he's been back. Just pour a glass of whiskey, light a nice cigar, and enjoy the ride, right? And that's completely valid. I feel that 100%. And there's Jets fan B who says, yes, I agree. But wait a minute. You know, this whole offseason, we kind of said... The most important thing, even more than how many games you win this year, was the development of our young players. And that, of course, was highlighted by the development of quarterback Zach Wilson. And Jets fan B is kind of wondering, well, what's going on with this passing attack? It's kind of taken a step down statistically since Zach Wilson took over for Joe Flacco. And me, Jet fan in the middle, I don't think that matters a ton. But let's keep going with it. And also, you know, what's with this 10 for 18? against Green Bay. One touchdown, two interceptions. What's going on with Zach Wilson? I think both thoughts are valid. I think you're allowed to still ask for more and wonder what the future holds while appreciating the ride that we're on. And I think it's important to note that it's impossible to have high expectations of Zach Wilson and also never, ever, ever once be critical of him at all. That doesn't make any sense. If you really, really have high expectations of somebody, then when they don't play so well, you're going to kind of go, huh, right? It's not, if Mike White goes out there and doesn't play well, I don't care because I think Mike White is a backup. But I think Zach Wilson is our eventual franchise QB. So if he doesn't look like that, it's fair to be slightly concerned but am i concerned yet no i'm gonna ask jets fans for something that i lack this is a grow for me it's patience <laughs> you might have caught on to that if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while i don't like waiting i want to win now i want zach wilson to be good now but we got to remember with this young quarterback he's not even a full season in 16 games and with this run heavy offense you might say well that's not really sustainable Okay, we got those wins, but you can't build a competitive football team throwing for 110 yards a game in 2022. And I would say I don't care if it's sustainable because it's what was required to win that game. And you're on to the next. Is it the Jets' fault? Is it Michael Forrest's fault? Zach Wilson's fault that the Dolphins and the Packers couldn't tackle Brees Hall? I think that it is sustainable for the Jets to be a run-first offense. There are teams, your Philadelphia, Cleveland, San Francisco, who are run-first teams. Everybody knows they're running the ball. We faced Nick Chubb. We know what they were going to do. They still did it because they had the personnel and the commitment to be a run-first team. And I think that the Jets are going to have that too. And if you look at these next four opponents with our passing game, you know, I know Elijah Moore hasn't broken out. Garrett Wilson kind of slowing down a little bit after a hot start. Zach Wilson yet to fully catch a rhythm completely and, and break out 300-yard game, anything like that. A little bit of patience with the passing attack because we face the next four games. We face, you know, uh, three, the Patriots twice, Denver and Buffalo, three teams. All three of those teams are top eight in pass defense in DVOA with the Broncos and Bills being arguably the best two secondaries in the league. It's going to be tough. I think the Brees Hall first diet is going to be the game plan for the next month with this football team. And that's fine if that's what it requires us to win. And yeah, 
I'm a little greedy. Eventually, I'm going to want both. I'm going to want the, the run game to be clicking. I'm going to want the Jets to be winning. And I want Zach to light it up. Yeah, I'm greedy. The goalpost is shifting. Not because Zach needs to necessarily for us to win. Not because he's a bust if he doesn't. But because he can. He's talented enough to do it. I just don't think the next four matchups are going to lend themselves to that. But after that, then he's got 20 starts under his belt. The schedule loosens up. And then I think he's gel with his teammates. Then I think we're going to see some of those 300-yard games. We're going to see an Elijah Moore breakout and all that. But on, on the passing game, I'm not worried until you know Zach Wilson is asked to win us a game and fails. That hasn't happened yet. He was asked to close and win in the game in Pittsburgh. He had a damn near perfect fourth quarter, and he closed it. Miami, look, he didn't have to do much. It was against Skylar Thompson, but he didn't make a single mistake, and we got the win. In Pittsburgh, let's be honest, the defense and the special teams just completely bailed out the offense. The offense was pretty bad. Got to give credit to the Green Bay secondary for playing sticky coverage for four quarters as well. So, Jets fans, we're four and two. <laughs> Pour that glass of whiskey, light that cigar, enjoy the ride. But for those of you who lack a little bit of patience, hold on, just another month uh, of some ground and pound and some hopefully some ugly wins. And I do think at some point this year we're going to see this passing attack and number two take flight. And we'll talk ball soon. <laughs>